Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. In our previous lesson, we wrote a formula where the right side of the formula made reference to an absolute cell, as we can see with the dollar sign in front of the column and the dollar sign in front of the row, when we copy the formula down, the right side of the formula will always refer to cell G1 because we've made that an absolute cell reference. Well, today I'm going to show you another way that we can accomplish the same thing except instead of having an absolute cell reference, we will name cell G1. We will give it the name sales goal. In Excel, there are many ways that we can create and define names for a cell or a range. I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest. With the cell that we want to name active, come up in here to the name box and type in our name, sales goal. Now notice that there are no spaces type in the name, hit enter, and now we have named that cell G1, sales goal. So whenever we click the name, it goes immediately up here. So now let's take a look at this cell here. What we're going to do is we're going to replace the absolute cell reference with the named cell. Highlight the absolute reference, come up to insert, name, paste, and we'll choose the name, which is sales goal, click OK. And now when we look at the formula, the formula says equals C2 divided by our sales goal. So using the name is the same as using an absolute cell reference. And of course, we can just copy this down and we see in any one of our cells equals C8 divided by sales goal using a name instead of an absolute cell reference. Let me give you another way that we can use names. Over here in this spreadsheet, we were referring to the sales tax. So we wanted to see the total for our sales plus or times the sales tax. And we made an absolute reference equals D4 times dollar sign G dollar sign one for our sales tax. Well, what we're going to do now, let's just copy this down. Let's just highlight it, hold down control, and just copy this down. What we're going to do is we're going to create a named constant. I'm going to get rid of this. And we will come up here into insert name define. And instead of naming an actual cell, we are going to create a constant. So we'll do equals 0.0715 for a 7.15% sales tax. And now when we write our formula equals uh, D11 times, we will insert our name, insert name, paste, this time it's going to be sales tax. Click OK, and there is our sales tax. And we can copy this down. One of the advantages of using a name constant is let's just say that the government raised the sales tax rate. OK, let's make a simple little change. Insert name, define, and with sales tax, instead of it being a 7.15%, let's make it an 8% sales tax equals 0 0.08. Now watch up here when I click OK. Watch how the numbers change. So we used a named constant for our sales tax. And that's our lesson for today. We'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.